Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to make a new presentation with Bright Author. I've already loaded Bright Author and um, <clears throat> loaded all of our test media onto my system. Uh, you can get all that information from our website, www.myrethink.com, and download a zip file from all the sample audio. We'll be going through that. So I already have Bright Author loaded here, as you see. Um, it comes up in the edit mode and we're going to start a new presentation. So this is for new presentation. <clears throat> we'll call this demo audio project. And it saves it in my documents folder and that's perfectly fine if this is the area you want to save it in. If not, change your path to wherever you need. Uh, make sure that the bright side model has the AU320 or the appropriate model of what we have for you in case this video is around and there's a new model but this is the audio only model no video so what I'm going to do is cre create and this is going to come up with enhanced audio two zones most of our systems are going to be enhanced audio um, but if we told you when we set you up that it's two please click two so right now I'm going to click choose now you see this is a place where you can drag your media and such. What we're going to do here is browse to the folder where you downloaded and unzipped all of your media that we gave you in the sample audio on our website. So right here we have I have a media folder and here's audio commercial media. We're going to click OK on that. Now this shows all the media that we've created for you in order to test your system. Um, what we're going to do is first we're always going to start off a, a silent piece. So if you notice here there's a 30, 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute and 15 minute silence piece. This is going to be uh, the easy way of putting time out between your commercials in your store. So we want to start off with a 1 minute silent piece here and I'll show you why in the end. Next, we gave you two sample pieces. One is a test music file, and the other is a test speech file. So, this one <clears throat> we're going to drag in here is a test music file. Now, for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to put a one minute silent piece in there as well. You could put a 15 minute, 10 minute, and if you want an hour gap between each of the commercials, you would just take 15 minute piece. Me come here and I'm going to click delete and all you do is throw in one two three four now you have this music file playing then four 15 minute pieces that's going to play complete silence and then you just throw the next piece in speech audio click so now what you have is a one minute test audio file an hour another one then it's going to loop back to the beginning where it's going to have silence. Just don't forget, you need to take either the silence needs to be here in the beginning always or at the end so that this end file doesn't butt up against this other file and you have no time gap. When you're done, in fact, this one I'm going to delete this, this, and this, and we're going to click Save, come here to Publish. Now, I've set this timer to be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, this was set up for a different one, so I'm going to double click on this and pick the file, Demo Audio Project. I guess I've been doing quite a few here. We're going to make this reoccurring every day from here to here. That's fine, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., reoccurring daily, every day. Okay. And the unit we're going to publish to here in our office is this one right here. Uh, specify firmware is a way of uploading new firmware to the device. Unless we tell you to specifically do that, don't worry about ever clicking there. Um, it may do more harm than good. Uh, and most of the time, you're going to want it to be on local network. Uh, unless we instructed you to do local storage or the bright sign network. It all depends on the topology of your IT network and um, 
if you're all within one premise, you're going to be using the local network. All I'm going to do is click publish, and that simply it published it to the device. Now it went very fast because all the media is already on the bright sign device. So all it did was transmit the playlist, the time, and that's it. All the media was already there. So that's it. Your bright sign has been uploaded. If you um, wanted to upload this to multiple devices, all you would do is hit, click here, hold down shift, click here, and then publish, and that would publish it to multiple units all at once. Um, that's it for publishing with Bright Author. Uh, there's other videos that are available online of how to create your commercials within your store and how to edit them and save them correctly into the file structure that were created. Thanks a lot.